This is the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. It has a 108 megapixel camera and shoots 8K video. We're inviting you to enter Xiaomi's My Home Movie competition, where you'll take a phone or a camera and make your own movie under five minutes in your own home. I'm shooting mine entirely on the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, so here we go. Yeah. First time cutting my own hair. And that's a wrap. I'm gonna sleep for like four days straight now. All right, so now we're gonna rewind all the way back to the past to day one of trying to figure this thing out. We're still trying to figure out how all this is gonna work and it's uh, definitely gonna be time consuming because this one little contraption itself took a good amount of time to set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here. Oh. Yo, whoa. So that, that works. I think we just need to do that, but 10 times cooler. No! This is like the very first stage. Oh, I think this is the package. Oh, here's the phone. Looks nice. 108 megapixel camera. Now, one thing that's amazing is that in 8K mode, it doesn't require you to crop. So I think we're gonna be able to make this look pretty solid. Even this, something as simple as this getting knocked over might look really cool in 240 frames per second. <laughs> look how epic these mini party cups tipping over is. Zoom. Lefty's just chilling in the background. Boom. <laughs> Oh, all right, so good news is that this thing's pretty accurate. It hit the board every single time so far. Oh yeah. All right, so I think I got part one figured out. If all goes well, should start with me throwing this ball into that cup and end with a bang. Let's see if it works. Three, two, one. Perfect. I'm so happy right now. That only took me all morning, but it worked. For us to get different angles, we're gonna have to get one set of shots from one angle and then do it again and again. So we're gonna do one piece at a time. So yeah, we're kind of cheating, but in the end, just to prove that it all works and it's real, I wanna do one pass through in a single take. Carrie, what do you think the probability of this going through is? I think it's gonna work. You think it's gonna work on the first try? Yep. Uh, Attempt number one. 75% to see. Fingers crossed, here it goes. I tested this thing a hundred times. Never had an issue. It just yanked it out. Oh. Every time it hit it during testing. Take number eight. The phone is durable, so that's good to know. Okay. You might not want to stand them. Take one million and four. Here we go. Why you be all of my line about nothing? Why won't you go get you a dollar or something? Don't hit with a shit for nothing. I see that we different you Everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong. We attempted it about 12 hours straight and thought at least once we'll get it. We did not. Man, we've been at this all day. But the good news about shooting the cinematic sequence using this phone was that we were able to cheat, get one thing at a time. So much easier. 
Looking pretty good. We got that shot in 8K. Let's get the rest of the shots. We have the Xiaomi up here. We have it in 8K, 24 frames per second. We have some lighting in the hallway. Lighting always makes a huge difference. We also have it on the Etochrone Head Plus and Jib one to give it that nice motion. And then I'm just gonna try to time my walk-in so that way I get the nice movement going upwards as I enter the bathroom. Filming on the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro was surprisingly a pleasant experience. I didn't use any third-party camera apps or anything like that. I just use the built-in app. Of course, sliders and anything motion control will really add a lot of production value to the shots. Cutting hair is easy. Why would I ever pay somebody to do this? This is a piece of cake. Yeah, man. What is this, an eight? This is a little shorter than I was expecting. Hey, Carrie. Is this too short? Why does it look like you have like a little like rat tail back here? Like I don't know. Something? I can't see back there. All right, we're gonna shoot this one at 240 frames per second. Three, two, one. Oh, nice. Let's check out the slow-mo real quick. Boom, oh, that's so cool. I love slow-mo. Slow-mo is so much fun. Boom, you see the concussion. That's so cool. <laughs> to us, it's just like, Boom, done. You can't see the bottle, but here you can actually see it launching through the air. That is cool. Now we're gonna cheat, bring this in way close and just pump the crap out of it with air pressure and just send it straight through there. See how much damage we could do. We're at 70 PSI now. I think I'm gonna do this one at 4K 60 with the ultra wide lens. Two, one. Oh, that went straight through. Dude, that was loud, huh? What? How's your hearing? Is it gone? Seven. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of power. That's a lot of force right there. The thing I love about shooting on a phone is how much freedom and flexibility you have. You don't really have to think too much about your settings or anything like that. You just place it where you want it, focus it, and get the shot. I was honestly surprised to see how much depth of field I was able to get. Look how smooth this shot looks. Motion control for the win. That's gonna be interesting. Yeah, you guys see that? That was perfect. I try to cut my own hair, but Dylan. Let me see the other side of your head. No, I'm fine, right? No, like, no totally fine, dude. Right? Wait, how'd you do that? I think the clipper <laughs> thing isn't on all the way. <laughs> <laughs> this one, the timing is gonna get a little bit tricky. We're gonna need a little bit of luck on our side, but I think we got it. Here I'm just getting some 4K 60 shots of the dominoes falling in the wide angle lens. I actually like that combination, the ultra wide angle with 60P. Timing needs to be pretty precise and also I have to make sure that the basketball doesn't come down and hit the phone. Here we go. Oh, the phone caught the string on this one. I think I have to stand here and put my hand here to prevent the string from getting caught on this camera. Woohoo! That was a nice shot because it also gets the dogs in the video. Everybody loves the dogs. I need to get the table a little bit further away from the wall, but we have this Jenga thing built on top of it. What do you think, Sam? You think we can move the table without it all falling over? If we do it like just slowly as possible. Ah, we did it. <laughs> And since it was mostly shot in 8K, that gave me the playroom in post-production to do some scaling in and digital zooms without the image breaking apart. So with that, even the shots that had no movement, I was able to add a little bit more. And remember, in the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro, you don't have a crop in 8K. That's kind of a big deal. And in post-production, I just did some simple color gradings just to try to get all the colors to look uniform. And I also did some experimenting with some localized exposures, try to draw your eye to a particular part of of the screen because there's so much going on in every single shot so i was just trying to narrow down that focus a little bit all right this is the final shot but possibly the most difficult because we need the dogs to cooperate Now just because we didn't have to do it all in one take, doesn't mean we're not gonna do it. We absolutely have to do it. So we spent another whole entire day trying, failing, failing, failing. Eventually realized we have to slow down and instead of hoping it's gonna work, we have to stop, think, and figure out how do we make it work 
for sure. So I went through every single step once again, started by putting a laser pointer on our bottle cannon, zone that back in so we're super accurate. Laser is hitting right there in the middle, firing in three, two, one. Yeah! So we had to ditch the RC car that was driving me nuts. Only worked like 40% of the time. So this car has been giving us nightmares. So we are going to, we're replacing it with ping pong balls. The ping pong ball worked about 80% of the time. So we put two on there to make sure that it gets through. Then we realized the dominoes weren't always falling all the way through because of the angle the dominoes were getting hit. That was ruining our consistency. Also redesigned the transition onto the table, made sure that worked every time. Redesigned the way the marbles get released. Everything took a whole lot of time, but when we were done, we were sure it was all going to work. Instead of just doing a bunch of attempts, we just really, really slowed down and said, okay, how do we make this work? 100% of the time, I think we've gotten it. Carrie, are you ready for the final, final round? <laughs> Anyways, this is the part where we hand the torch off to you. We want to see how creative can you get in your own home. Oh crap, this is a six. I thought this was an eight. This is the eight. At this point, I don't even care. Xiaomi is running a home movie contest. You're invited to enter. Start off the video with a door opening. Do it inside of the boundaries of your home. Get creative and only use members of your household. For those of you who are new, Dylan, Sam, Carrie, and I all live here. That's how I was able to force them all to help me with this video. I'm gonna throw all the info you need and links in the description. Yes, there are prizes, one of which is the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro. Check out that link below. And of course, all sponsored videos in this channel have a giveaway. So we are giving away this very Mi 10 Pro. All you have to do for a chance to win is like this video that I'm gonna post on Instagram within the first 12 hours of posting it. That's all you gotta do. You don't have to leave comments or DMs. That does not increase your chances of winning. Just double tap it and you'll have an equal chance of winning as everyone else, so good luck. That's it for this video. Thanks Xiaomi for letting me be a part of this even though I did feel a little tortured, stacking all those cups and resetting everything a million freaking times. But you know what? It was still fun. It was an accomplishment. It was something new and I'm glad I did it, I think. You know how there's a lot of videos where it's like, people are like, oh, it's so challenging. I had such a good time doing it. I learned, all this is not one of those videos. I'm miserable. I've been doing this for days and it still hasn't worked, but this is gonna be the one.